Okay. Second one now. This is uh, Jailhouse Rock. So in Jailhouse Rock, there's a slide. Now here's our G. The slide is from G flat. G, G flat. Now here's your G chord. There's the full G chord. When I say full G chord, it just means that you've got a finger on every string and thereby you can control the duration of the note. You can see just there the pressure coming off my fingers. I hit the chord, reduce the pressure, or release the pressure, keep my fingers on the strings, and the note dies. If I don't do that, it just keeps ringing through. If I don't have fingers on all strings, I can't control the duration of this string here. I can these where my fingers are on them, but not this one. So, in order to do that, you've got to cover all strings. Now, you can do it with your G there, or you can do it as a bar chord. There's your G there. Those three. Now you're adding that one, just like we did before. Just like that. Only we're covering this with a bar, which frees a finger. So, we play this. Now that is achieved by just laying the fingers on the strings, but no pressure, just laying them gently on there. So you play, release, play, release. Now I'm just strumming, I'm strumming. deadening it up this end. So do a party in the county jail. The prison band was there and he began to wail. The band was jumping and the trumpet began to sing. You should have heard the night. Now put a G7 in the sing that's right. You don't have to do those little embellishments. You can hear those. One on G, D7 is a bit difficult up there. Yeah. That's a challenge, something to work on. To, to keep the formation of the fingers together while you slide is very challenging. And you can't... Um, you can't get any shortcuts, it's, it's, it comes through playing. There's just no shortcut to it. You build strength from the hand from just a lot of playing. But that's something to aim towards. Okay. See you on the next one.